everyone. Today is Tuesday, 27th of April, 2021. I would tell you where we are, but I don't actually know. Honey, where are we? I'm not sure how to say it. I think it's Calipo River. Mm. And we're at the south west. Calipo River? Calipo? Calipo? Yeah. Calipo? I'm not sure. Uh, we're about 20 minutes out of Gladstone though. So that we're just off the highway at this beautiful river where they've got some free camping and it's our free camping experience first night. This one's a 48 um, hour free camping. That's pretty cool. Right on the river. I think the bathroom's up that hill though, so it's a bit annoying, but I think I'm going to have a look. And Sorry, what did you say? I think the bathroom's up here, but so it's a bit annoying, but we're not too far away actually, so we'll go have a look. Swag, some chairs, some food stuff. We're good to go. For one night, can't be too bad. It was about a hour and a half to two hour drive to here from our last stop in Agnes Water. Um, it was nice. Um, Jake drove a little bit for the start and then I drove for the rest of it. So it's time where we might have to be careful when to go get fuel, but the petrol station had no premium fuel left. Well, just didn't work, they had one pump, so that was a bit rough. But we didn't actually need it then, so it wasn't too bad. But hopefully that doesn't happen much more in our future. Yeah, it'd be pretty sucky if middle of Northern Territory that just don't have premium fuel. I might have to, I could put 91 in it, maybe like an octane booster, but I don't think I want to do that or should do that. Another beautiful day up here in the, would you say this is the mid coast? Central, central coast Queensland? How was your first public toilet, honey? It's a public toilet. Not much to it. I hope it smelt better than the men's. Well, since it was right next to the men's, they all pretty much smelt the same. We've got our little setup. It's easy just to fall over the side of the road when you remember it. Bye bye, birdie. Rexy on tour, stop three. Woot woot. So my love, we're about a week in, as you say, to this whole big trip. I'm not really, it's only five days. What a five days in. How are you feeling? Feeling better than I was a few days ago. How do you mean? Just, you know, this is our third place we've stopped at, everything's gone. So when it's come to where we should be staying, everything's been right so far. Using my phone app, so I'm getting a bit more confidence in that, I guess, and trust. How do you feel about tomorrow? Annoying, um, worried. Oh, so hopefully get up early. Maybe pack up straight away, check out around the area, then we'll go ahead in the Glasson Central so we can just check out that area, that town, go to a flight centre, book some flights, which I don't know if it's the right thing to do, but we're gonna do it, it seems like it. How are you feeling about a week's time? No idea. And I, like to, I can't think too much of the future because nothing's planned, so I'll start freaking out more. Because I haven't done it yet, and no one else is going to do it, so...
What's the number one thing you're hoping to get from this trip? Satisfaction to say that we did it. I guess. Going to new places. I don't think I'm going to get much else out of it, unfortunately. But. And what makes you think that? Too much stress and worry to really relax at any time. We're going to use money, so we won't be saving. When, when, at what point, when I ask, uh -huh. yes, that actually very hurt. <laughs> at what point, when I ask, how do you feel about this holiday? Will you say something positive first? I did say something. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. No. I literally asked you, how do you feel about tomorrow? When we literally have nothing, there's nothing wrong with tomorrow. There's no, there's no, there's no issues at all. And you said, worried, stressed. Why, do Why does it matter? You asked me. We're question. going to Gladstone. We're going to check out Gladstone. What, what does that entail? What, when, when I ask you, how do you feel about our holiday? Are you going to say something positive first? When. If I asked you to look back on the past five days, what are you going to say? I've had a great time, other than when I've been stressing. Even when I've been stressing, we're having a good time. Had a good time every time we've been together. At the rum, just really. At the Bundu, when we just went there and then went to another place. When we went for that nice, really great skateboard, that was really good. Every time we've gone to sleep in our camp. Every time we've decided what we're doing with cooking and that. When we make decisions, I'm happy most of the time. It's until we've made a decision when maybe I'm not 100% happy. That, that, was, that was a positive answer. If I, if I cut that clip compared to the very first question I asked you when I started filming, which was, we're a week in, five days in, how are you feeling? Compared to the answer I got when I asked that question, it would be completely different. Both, both right answers. Are, they're both answers. Yes, but one makes you feel good talking about and one doesn't. One makes you go on this big spiral that takes us 14, 15 minutes to get to a positive answer and one gives you, you a nice... A positive answer. You ask for no, answer. I'm asking you to view our holiday in a positive light so that you actually enjoy said holiday. Does that make sense? Well, if that's the case, I feel like the Kuala Century that we stayed at, I mean the Kangaroo Century, was one of the best places that we stayed at ever. Beautiful, it was exclusive, it was bang for buck, had everything we wanted, we met some people. It was lovely there. I would definitely stay there over and over again. Good morning everyone. It is Wednesday morning about 7.30. I'm just heading to the bathroom from our campsite over there. <laughs> Um, walking up this hill, up to the toilet, it's very cold, um, probably one of the coldest mornings since on our trip so far, um, everything's covered in dew, so all our stuff's a bit wet, our swag, our chairs that we left out. Hopefully, once the sun gets a bit higher, it can dry everything quickly before we have to pack up. <clears throat> um, fell asleep so early last night, we just went in the swag and were listening to the Harry Potter audiobook. And we got in the swag at like 7, and I think I was asleep by 7.30. <laughs> And then woke up around one ish because Jake had to pee and the moon was like shining so brightly on us. But I think I went back to sleep pretty much straight away and then woke up again at six. So really, I slept for 11 hours. The 10 hours last month. Crazy. Um, 
I'm back at our campground. Maxi. Gotta look at Jake sleeping in the swag. Good morning. Good morning. Is the canvas still wet too or just that Yeah, the canvas. It's all wet. I'm gonna move the chairs into the sun. Yeah, we're gonna try and dry everything off and wake up and then probably next time you see us we'll be packed up and on our way to Gladstone Town. Bye guys, good morning. Good afternoon, evening, good morning. It is the 29th of April on a Wednesday. We woke up this morning from the River Free Camp and we've cruise into Gladstone which is the closest town we're from there and it's the next big town on the way up um, we're not saying at Gladstone because I don't know never heard of anything about it went anywhere to go so yeah but we're definitely going to just check out the city today went, had to go to flight center bought some flights which is exciting um, to make Sophie's first birthday we're not going to tell anyone so shh, shh, shh. but yeah now we're at Gladstone I've got some fuel again um, and now we're just up some random street called Auckland I think it was Auckland Street Auckland Hill Auckland Hill and we're just gonna have a little look around here it looks like Gladstone's got some port like ports of Gladstone and stuff that they used to Marina, Marina port. and then we're gonna head towards Rockland hopefully we can camp at a hotel for free and we buy food and beers from there there's a whole lot of boats up here some islands Those are the islands. It's a coal facility. Spa Marina, Barley Point, Picnic Island, Turtle Island, Diamantine, Diamantina Island. <coughs> Gladstone Port. So it's pretty cool. Got a cinema. If anything, it looks like it used Museum, to be like something, court. and then they stopped using it for something, so they made like a big parking area. Hmm. Not as many ships coming in now. Maybe. We're at the boot camp. This black industrial looking thing that we saw up on the on the lookout was an outdoor gym. Very cool. Islands. Got some beers. I got a pale ale and Jake got a yellow lager. A nice view to enjoy some nice craft beers. Yeah, I don't think we would have bought beers, but they were craft beers made on site. Beers. Alright, so we just finished our beers and we're back, well I'm back, Jake's still skating around at the car. I think this is going to be the end of our little stay in Gladstone, we weren't here very long. Not a whole lot to see but that's alright, we're only here for a day and now we're going to head towards Rockhampton um, to a pub where we're going to get a free night stay, some dinner. And then hang around Rockhampton tomorrow before we head to Yapoon tomorrow. It's going to be good. Let's get in it 
and get on the way. Bye. The bridge is going up. We're still in. We're still in Gladstone. I'm gonna try and cross the, cross the bridge, but the ferry's coming. So the bridge is going up. How cool! I'm not used to this, and it's not used to maybe trains, but not a bridge. It's in little old town of Gladstone. It's got a rising bridge. We're eating some veggie chips and some crack. What are they called? Rice crackers. Rice crackers. Big ass fairies coming. We had deer, so this is going to be lunch. Maybe some carrots. Still keeps going up, 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 up. We had Drake said that we're going to go check out the marina before we leave Gladstone. So, we'll see what's there. Just driven to the other side of Rockhampton. We're at a place called the Cabra Pub Hotel. Nope, Cabra Pub. And hopefully this is where we're gonna camp out tonight. Let's go check it out. Pretty cute. All right, swag is up in record time. Whatever. Just nice and easy park. Have a Toilet and showers. I don't really know what this looks like. Some sort of cabins or something. Yeah, accommodations. Got our car and our swag. And there's a pub right there, which was so cute. But we're gonna have dinner at tonight. We're right next to the highway, so it might be a bit loud, but not that bad. This is a bit different, eh? Have a good sleep and then. That's about it. We're going to Rockhampton tomorrow. Here we go. Rockhampton. Three Rockhampton. I don't know if we'll stop along. Go get some groceries, have groceries a look around. Might look around. Maybe get my nails redone because they're like growing out so bad. Alright, so we're just going to chill out for this afternoon. It's only, it's only about three o'clock. Um, we're almost finished the audiobook of Harry Potter 1. So maybe we'll finish that. And then I'll show you once we go to dinner. Bye guys. Look at our huge neighbor. Look at the size of this thing. Is it gonna come charging at us? So let the mum come get ya. My goodness, don't get stuck. Jump, 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 jump.
Alrighty, so we spent the afternoon playing some volleyball. It was nice, we lost it on the roof for a little bit. But the wind knocked it back down, so that was good. <laughs> um, we had a, probably the nicest shower since we've left. Surprisingly, it was in that little box right there, but it was probably the nicest one. Um, and we got all nice and clean, somewhat good looking. And now we're about to go head into the pub, maybe play some pool, have a few drinks before dinner. Well, not drinks, a couple. One drink. One drink before dinner, one drink with dinner. Yes. Two maximum. Two maximum drinks all night. Thank you. Even get a stubby a little bit. Look at that. So we're playing some pool. Um, I, I'm yet to sink a sinkable. Yeah. Jake's got one big left for the black. I just want to at least sink one ball before it's game over. That'd be nice. Just ordered dinner. Jade's a bit sad. Her burgers are only for lunch, so she couldn't get a burger. Have you got a burger yet? No. <laughs> She's gonna go for the easy one. Easy one. I said she didn't go for the easy one. <laughs> you poo head. Too close. She's safe. She's safe. <laughs> I sunk a ball. And she won the game. What? Well, yeah, the one I was wondering that. It's, it's, it's get, you lost. Oh wow. Haha. Uh -huh. Oh We're gonna wait around till our dinner comes and I'll show you once that food comes. Beers. So we got some dinner. What do you got? I went for the Minosaurus Parmi, I reckon. So it's barbecue sauce, cabana, bacon, ham, cheese. But the actual parmigiana is a crumb steak, not chicken. Interesting. Looks interesting. <laughs> Chips and veg for Jake. And I got the special which was beef stroganoff. Got it with some mashed potato. And looks like a big dollop of sour cream on top. It was a nice piece of beef in there, Mmm, beef looks good. Hopefully the flavour of the sauce is yummy with mushroomy, be good. We're gonna I got also got a five dollar wine, so that's a good price. Horrible wine though, it tastes horrible. But that's okay, it was only five dollars. And Jake got another beer. So yeah, we're gonna enjoy and then see what the rest of the night holds. <laughs> So we finished our meals, weren't as bad as uh, bad at all actually. How do you think about crumbs steak? It's just like crumb meal, which I do enjoy, but not as a palm. Yeah. I think I would have rather it by itself. Or got a palm with chicken. This wasn't I don't know. Like I, I like meat, but there's too much going on and have all of that bacon on top. It and cabana, salami and cheese. My stroganoff was pretty good, couldn't complain. And then this started some live music in the next room, and there's going to be a pool competition in this room, so we're going to go listen to some live music, I think.
had a shower, again it was lovely, pretty much all packed up. We'll take you with us while we look around Rockhampton and then that'll be the end of this video of stop three and four on Rexy on tour. She's getting a bit dirty but I think we're getting a lot better at the packing and unpacking and everything. Well, in case you couldn't hear anything of what we just said, here's a recap. It's been a good morning. Um, it's about quarter to nine now. Well, it's later than I would have thought. We had a very lovely shower again and a shake for breakfast. Um, the trains were a bit loud. <laughs> they woke me up about five days this morning. The first one, I'm, I'm guessing it was. And I couldn't get back to sleep, but it wasn't too bad because they seemed to have stopped stopped going between around 10 and 5 30 so we got a good few hours sleep so it was nice do you sleep all right yeah it's lovely first night i didn't feel like i was getting bitten so that was great it was hot because i ended up closing up the swag because there was too many lights and yeah the trucks drive past and it's next to the pub so we closed it up which was all right made it a bit quieter too and yeah probably had the best night's sleep i've had mm, good but yeah, we are packed up and we're ready to head to Rockhampton now. Um, gonna check out the town and do some shopping later, get my nails done. And yeah, we'll show you around Rockhampton and that will be the end of this video. Bye guys. So we're in Rockhampton town at the moment. Just driving through. So we got to the gardens, Kershaw Gardens, and this place is huge. I think we're parked, the main entrance is like in the middle of the whole garden, from what I looked on the map anyway, like it goes all the way down there, looks like there's some nice grassy hills, and there's a cute little park here, and botanical garden somewhere. Slow poke. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Ready? 
the treetop canopy walk. We're going to be able to see all of Rockhampton from up here. Oh, that's a good look. Mm, it's very nice. I wish it was a less cloudy day. Camera lighting is so bad, but there's like another sort of township that way. And then all these different little hills and mountains. Pretty cool. Hey guys, so we wrapped up in Rockhampton. Um, we went up the mountain, had the, went to the lookout, looked at some gorgeous freaking houses. We actually saw a whole heap up up on the mountain for sale, and we're like, oh, we'll look online and see like how much they cost and everything, and how beautiful they are on the inside. Freaking stunning pictures online. And the most expensive one, which we thought would be, if it was literally anywhere else, would be over a mil, was seven hundred fifty thousand dollars. We're like. Why are we not living in Rockhampton? Mum, you say it's your favourite place in the world. Why are you not retiring in Rockhampton? Got my nails done. So I went to the shops after that, got my nails done. I really like this colour. It's like, it looks a lot darker on the camera, but it's actually like a really like a nudie green, if that makes sense. So I got that and that. I really like them and they feel like they're going to last a long time so I'm happy. Um, so we went to the shops, went to the Woolies, got all the stuff for our next trip and I got my nails done and then we headed here which is our next trip you will see in the next video. But yeah that rocks up, rocks up? That sums up our trip to Rockhampton. Uh, and that some and that completes can't speak this morning and this that completes stop three and four on Rexion tour what what with Gladstone and Rockhampton done yeah that's the end we'll see you in the next video bye guys hi <laughs>